Oh, you let me know if you want a makeup tutorial because bitch, Twitch. <laughs> Bonjour mes amis. That was so tryhard. My name is Fermented Soybean today. Thank you for letting me rant earlier this week. Don't worry, I've cooled down thanks to my mint lemon water. And chin up, shoulders back, boobs forward, shameless merch plug. Also, these tie-dye shirts are only gonna be here for three more days. So get them while you can. Oh, wait, I'm naked. Shit. Me not wearing a bucket hat, homophobia. If you can't tell what's on my desk, today we're going to be playing with a bunch of children's toys. Pose for the thumbnail. Get that dick. I'm 19 years old and I remember my first experience with toys just being like asking on TV stuff. I literally called that number and asked them, you know, can you send it to me? Yes, I've been doing PR since six years old. But the problem is there were only so many and Frederick was a versatile man. <laughs> okay. Who dabbled in both sections of the boys versus girls toys. This was always geared more for boys stereotypically, but you all know I play with Beatos. I play with perler beads, bracelet making, all of that stuff. I did that. I just didn't buy it today because I did that already, you know? I don't want to relive it right now. And maybe it was different for you guys, but I didn't see t this on TV. I only saw like kinetic sand and that was it. All of this stuff, I feel like was in the back of Barnes and Nobles and Walmart and Target. Like those were the three main stores that I bought this stuff. And it was always $19.99 or like $24.99. So I couldn't buy it at the time. But with AdSense, Frederick can now dabble in some things. So I went to Michael's. Oh my God, you can see the clear difference between the boys and the girls section. Oh my God, I forgot about these. Don't worry, I will do this one day. I'm just not ready yet. They had a sale, so of course I bought more than enough things. And I'm just gonna review all of them as an adult because I can. And don't question me for wearing a hoodie. Sometimes you gotta sweat to get business done. <laughs> Let's start off easy. I feel like Bloonies is the most nostalgic for people. If you don't know what this is, you might have been born after 2006, let's say. Actually, I was born after 2006, so I know what it is. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this was that scene on TV, but this has been around for a while. Like, the cashier who was in her 60s still recognized this, so this is a nostalgic product for a lot of people. Oh, it says age six plus. And to quote every YouTuber ever who does this, I guess I can not review it then. <laughs> Something quirky, I don't know. I do remember this smelling disgusting. Like it just smelled plasticky. Probably shouldn't inhale this. Speaking of inhale, I did inhale a lot of the helium just to show you guys what my voice actually sounds like. I'll insert the clip. Oh my God, <laughs> this is not a good idea. I shouldn't have done this. I promise I'm not doing anything with this hockey. Please don't do that at home, it makes you very lightheaded. Almost made me wanna... Anyways, let's make some real balloons. It's not a gum. Don't chew or swallow. It contains polyvinyl acetate, ethyl acetate, plastic fortifiers with certified colors. Define certified color. Also, what is plastic fortify... I'm telling you, definitely not good for you. You squeeze this out. <gasps> oh, I got a yellow one. As I should, obviously. I think that's enough. And then while it's still like this... Oh, hello? Oh shit, well I broke it. Ooh, this is like glue. Oh, it smells like just how I remember it. Very plastic, don't inhale it. This feels like glue though, right when it starts drying. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fumes. Don't inhale it, please. Shit, get off my nail. And then when you do this, it like just, yeah. Yes! Oh my god! Hey, Oh! Isn't that so cool, guys? This shit makes me so happy just to play with it. Except don't breathe in it. If that, would, that was nasty. Disgusting! Alright, I'm gonna do a couple more tries. I wanna see how big I can blow this bubble up. Let's hope this doesn't dry out inside. Oh! It got on my nail! Alright, so I'm just holding it until it dries off a little bit. You can never get them perfect, but I think that's what makes them unique. They're all special snowflakes. Pinch it off. Ooh. Beautiful. All right, that was bigger than the last one, but I, I think we can go even bigger. Because bigger is better, most of the time. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've created a monster. Oh, those highlights though. I'm really starting to feel the fumes from this. So this is my biggest- Oh, no, don't go away. This is my biggest one compared to the original one we made. It's like a jellyfish. Isn't that... It's so cool to me. It's so crazy to me how plastic ruins this earth, but it also creates this shit. Let's try to stack them. And the thing is like, I don't feel anything leaking because it's it's all made of plastic. And look, you can even connect them like this. What? I can honestly just make a video of me blowing up all of, of this tube and seeing how much 
I can attach. Actually, let's do that real quick. Oh shit. I guess I'm not blowing well enough. <laughs> Don't demonetize me. Vape? No. Bloonies. Modern art, guys. Okay, this is my sculpture. I'm gonna call it Ball City. Guys. <laughs> Boom! That was so fun. I'm totally gonna use this in the future. 10 out of 10, balloonies. What's next? Kinetic sand? How about we do that? That was a cultural reset for literally every human being at some point. Never dries out. Easy to shape and mold. Cleans up easily. Ne cherche jamais. Facile à modeler. Facile à nettoyer. Sweet, gluten, and casing free. Casing. This is vegan sand, cruelty free sand. How do you pronounce this? Would anyone like to tell me what language this is? It says and I got two pounds worth of it, but I didn't get any any sandcastle kits. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the bag. Oh my god, it's a bag in a bag. Why do you need to do this? <gasps> oh my god, I've never. I guys, this sounds so sad. I'm sorry, I had a deprived childhood. I never played with this. This feels so cool. Oh, it's alive. Right, I'm taking my rings off because I feel like this is gonna get in the way. This is violently blue. It looks like you can eat it, like blue raspberry sugar. That's what I'm getting from this. I could play with this all day. This is like, <gasps> this just is so soothing. This is what fidget spinners wish they could have done. And you can just do this. <gasps> guys, that is such a cool feeling. My God, is this what you guys all had? Did everyone just have this and not me? This is why I was so sad as a kid. I just never experienced the joy that is kinetic sand. If you're in quarantine, you want a beach, get this. Wait, let's see how much I can pack it. Like, can I make this into a castle? Am I a clay maker yet? Is this what they do? Are you fucking dumb? <gasps> it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa! All right, I'm gonna lift that up really fast. Nope. Is this also moon sand? Isn't that a thing? Did Kinetic Sand forget to copyright this or something? Easy cleanup? Wow. Go off with this. They have a YouTube channel. Guys, they have a YouTube channel. All right, beautiful, great. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping. Let's put you to the side for 10 out of 10. Okay, this seems similar. Moon Mud. I saw this brand everywhere. Discovery. I don't know if it's part of the Discovery channel or not, but it was always like science stuff, tech stuff, and I really liked that as a kid. Still like it now. I just didn't buy them. I just bought Pokemon cards instead. Why, Frederick? You don't even know how to play the trading card game. This is also in French. Pâté à modeler lunaire. S'agit-il d'un solide ou d'un liquide? Oh, it promotes STEM. Plays with Moon Mud once. Is a person in STEM? Oh, she has instructions this time. Moon Mud facts. The Moon Mud you are creating is a non-Newtonian liquid. I'm gonna look that up and show the screenshot of what that means. Oh, never mind. It says right here. A non-Newtonian liquid is a liquid that acts both like a solid and a liquid. So, is it a solosquid? It's a liquid! No, it's a solid! It's a solid! It's a solosquid! It does not follow Newton's law of viscosity. Oh, hit him with the vocab. Wait, I need to do this in my my presenting voice. Viscosity is a measure of resistance against the flow of a fluid. The thicker a liquid is, the more viscosity it has. A fun way to test for viscosity is by testing the speed at which the liquid flows down a slope. Slope? Slope? Y equals MX plus B slope? Oh, then it's all in French. Oh, we love languages. Okay, ready? La pâte à modeler lunaire que tu as cr cr What? No, ma'am. Uh, what is going on in here on this day? Who créé? Who wants to tell me how bad I butchered that? Help, tell me right now. I will not be offended. Listen, I took four years. I never learned that much. Oh. This is oobleck. I feel like. It's cornstarch. You have colorant bleu, colorant jaune, blue and yellow dye. Pour half of the cornstarch into the mixing tray. Pour one half cup water in a cup and add your dye. You can make blue, yellow, or green mood mud. Let's make yellow because it's part of my brand. So am I literally making oobleck? Add enough water so it looks similar to melted ice cream, but when you stir, it feels like you're trying to put wet sand out of the way. This is oobleck. I got played. I think I paid like $10 for cornstarch and yellow dye. Pour half of it in. Wait, what's stopping me from putting all of it in? It just says add more cornstarch to make it consistent. I'm just putting all of it in. We are not pussies in this household. Good thing I have a random cup of water sitting nearby. Pour it in. Start mixing. Does it feel like I'm pushing wet sand? Yeah! It's almost like I did this every year in science class. Time to put the yellow dye in. Uh, it said three drops, so... Okay. I'm not gonna use this dye again, so I might as well get rid of it. Is this it? You call this moon mud? I mean, it's a beautiful color. 
10 out of 10 on the die. But the packaging, that's not the same thing. What the fuck, Discovery? I'm not discovering anything. What am I discovering? That this is a scam? Maybe I'm a little bit too passionate about childhood products. Why did I fall for this? I thought I was gonna get slime. You know, good thing I bought another slime product, just in case. Oh my god, wow. I'm not putting this on my hands, by the way, because ew. Is this it? Just a sad dish of yellow water? If you never play with Ooblick, all it does is give you resistance when you apply force to it. But when you let it free flow, it feels like water and it acts like water. Until you apply pressure, then it gives friction back. I mean, zero out of 10. Get that out of my face. I don't want to see that ever again. I probably shouldn't put it towards the edge of something. That might spill. That might, mm, let's cover you up just in case. Because if I stay in this house one more time, my cause of death will be my family. All right, I'm saving this for last if you can't tell. Let's try to make up for that lazy excuse of a slime with some glow in the dark fizzy gloop. They're all ages six plus. What is, what, what? What about being six makes you qualified to do this? So you have fizzy goop solution. Yeah, this is glow in the dark glue. I, and I know that because I've had it before. Oh, we got a themed beaker. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Really did it on the packaging. Sodium tetraborate, which is borax, I think. Instructions and fizzy gloop mix. Oh, and baking soda. Oh, oh, we're baking? <laughs> so I know it overcooked. Okay, you know what? Go right for oh, not oh, 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 Do not eat the fizzy gloop or any of these ingredients. Be sure to cover your work area. Making fizzy gloop can get a bit messy. So I need warm water, which is not included. Two paper or plastic cups, not included. Ceramic or plastic plate, not I'll be back. I need 100 millimeters of warm water. 10 millimeters of room temperature water. What is this? All right, so I'm back with two cups, a big plate, and a gram measure. Gotta get these buff arms out here. Measure out 100 millimeters of warm water and pour it into the paper plastic cup. I don't have any plastic cups, so we're gonna have to do it with glass. Wait, what is this for? Is this a measure? I guess I don't have to do it fast. Oh, it's making a mess everywhere. You know what? I'm gonna do this in the only way that I think I can do it. I mean, it worked. Okay, so once I put this in the empty cup, I'm going to use the spoon provided to add one level spoonful of sodium tetraborate to the water and stir. So what you're saying is I'm paying for borax right now. One level teaspoon, they said. Why did you give me so much then? And then now we stir. I'm gonna lean you down a little bit. I feel like you're not getting in on all this action. Where'd my spoon go? <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, it's in the... This was almost boiling water and it still does not want to dissolve. I feel like I need to add some more water to this. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. Only I would stir like this. Ooh, it's tea time. Who's ready for tea, Betsy? Once that's mixed up, you gotta make a second cup, combine 10 millimeters of room water temperature with one spoonful of your activator and one spoonful of the fizzy glue mixture. Okay, 10 millimeters water, one spoonful. Why is why do you have so much then? If you just need one spoonful and one spoonful of the fizzy glue mixture, this thing. Citric acid and cornstarch. I could have bought this at home. How spoonful though? Level spoonful? Regular spoonful? You didn't tell me. I'm gonna assume level because that's what they said the first time. In the beaker, mix 30 millimeters of my fizzy gloop solution with half a spoonful of baking soda. These are the craziest measurements I've heard. I don't think I have enough, guys. Wait, this bottle is 40 milliliters. Why am I only at 20 then? You know, whenever I'm in a sticky situation, Get it, cause glue. I'm just gonna put some water in here to get the rest of it out. Why is all the slime failing me today? <gasps> no! Oh, half a spoonful of baking soda. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Place your beaker in the middle of a ceramic or plastic plate. Slowly add this activator to the solution. Stir. Okay, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's still going. Ah! Ooh. Wait till the reaction stops bubbling and then use the spoon to scoop it all out and put it back into your beaker. Then I have to turn the lights out and watch it glow. Fuck, it's currently daylight. It's still fizzing, by the way. Like, I keep seeing it spew out. I don't want to touch it. I wanted to play with slime. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10 because it's messy and I'm proper. All right, I'm gonna let it do its thing. Maybe we'll check on it later and maybe I can play with it. What's next? Kids crystal grow kit. Y'all see that? Kit includes crystal powder, display base, wooden stick, and a grow tray. The cashier also said that she loves this product. Place the plastic grow tray on a sheet of newspaper. Let me just use the glow in the dark instructions then. Fill it with 55 millimeters of cold water. What is up with measuring today. 55 milliliters. Place the plastic grocery on a sheet of filler with- okay. 
Now pour this into a separate larger mixing container. So why did I just place you inside here if I have to put you back in here? Make note of how much cold water is in the container. Discard it and replace it with the same amount of hot water. I don't understand this. How is a six year old gonna understand this? This takes seven days to grow. Pfft. It says place this tray on a sheet of newspaper. Fill it with 55 millimeters of cold water. I did that. Pour this into a separate larger mixing container. Okay, this into a separate container. Make note of how much cold water is in this container. Discard it and replace it with the same amount of hot water. Add all the crystal powder to the, to the hot water. I was way too lazy to go downstairs, so I just turned on my bathtub. Okay, so I'm mixing all of this into here now, I guess. Ooh, Gatorade level of blue. All right, goddamn. And they gave me another popsicle stick. Ooh, this is a nice quality. It's very smooth. Okay, there is no way this is gonna... What? Guys, how is this gonna... How? Didn't they say in chemistry that depending on the amount of water, your saturation level can only go so high to the point where it can't dissolve anymore? I just don't see how this is gonna dissolve. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes. Wait, it says do not over stir. What then what 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 do you want from me? <laughs> well, it just stained my finger and I've stirred for three minutes now and guys It's still not dissolved all the way. It looks like a whole line of sugar at the bottom. Wait, you're done I'm gonna go back to you. I've stirred as much as I can So I'm just gonna try to not put the crystals in all right So place the solution back in the tray place the star-shaped base in the solution filled tray and then just watch it grow There's little bubbles happening. All right. It says don't disturb it. Disturb it up I don't really know where else I can move this without disturbing disturbing it because it's filled right to the edge so i know if i pick it up i'll ruin it what happened here you done fizzing guys this actually feels and looks like slime as a slime fanatic i hate it when slime is chunky it's too thick because of borax so this is a 10 out of 10. oh <gasps> shit oh my god all right this is messy okay it does glow a little bit oh my god guys Look at it. Wait, now the fizz is all gone. Now I'm just turning back into the stupid slime that I hate. Now, see, it's breaking apart. What? No, zero out of 10 again. That was fake. I thought you would be actual slime, not borax slime. That's boring. You're boring, borax. Maybe I can save it. Maybe if I put some cornstarch in it. Let's put more of this fizzy glue mix back in here. Can I fix it? <gasps> Wait, it's breaking apart in my, oh my God, what am I doing? What just happened? I just put the mixture back in and it, oh my God, it's foaming again. What have I done? I'm like, why? Washing my hands now. What the heck? Okay, I guess the reaction still works. I just destroyed the slime in front of my eyes. And this is not for YouTube anymore. I'm gonna wash my hands. Zero out of ten. I'm gonna wash my hands now. I can't open the door. We'll see what happens with the crystal. Now let's get to the good shit. The finale of it all. Shit, I need to move this crystal thing. I'm going to see if I can't move it to my desk. Oh my god. Oh my god. That could have just ruined my entire floor. All right, well, Discovery, let me down w once again. This is a rock tumbler refill. Wait. Refill? No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Say no. Say it. Say it isn't so. Please. No. was I thinking? Did I really think that there would be a tumbler inside of here? Like this was big enough? I bet the actual tumbler was right next to this too. We're coming back to this then for another video. What the fuck, man? I just wanted to like, what the fuck? I just want to see the rocks. Oh no. I need my mint lemon water. <coughs> no. <coughs> the lemon water betrayed me. I wonder how this tastes. Like, no. No, I should. No. Can I at least have some slime? No. No. Can't have anything in this world! Guys! It had keychains! I could have had a keychain! I could have had a, a ring! A ring! Well, I guess I'm gonna do that for another video. If you guys really want me to do a dedicated video to rock tumbling, you let me know. You know? It's just- uh. I don't even want to do the outro because I'm so upset. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do this rock tumbling. I will personally destroy you all. Subscribe for more videos every week. Turn on my notifications. Shop our merch site. And as always, 
I love you guys. Everything is less than three. At least this didn't betray me. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing an outro song every time because I I think it's boring to just do nothing. Frederick is a dumb bitch for getting rocks. He got a refill and not the set.